So last time I talked about how I'd done all of this cutting with metal and everything for uh, this uh, rocket mass heater. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be prettier with brick around the bottom? See, I'm in experimental mode, so I just laid those bricks up on top of themselves. But if you were doing this, you might want to actually, like, use cement. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take this off and show you what's inside of it now. Okay. So what I've done, instead of having the... Um, the uh, uh, chimney pipe up the middle is I've got this cinder block. Now these are sections of um, originally it was 12 inches by 16 inches by 8 inches but the 8 inch actually turns out to be a little bit less than 8 inches so when I stack three of these up on top of each other instead of being 32 inches it's something like 30.5 inches Anyway, now these are stacked on top of, um, these are 8 inch by 8 inch cinder blocks. And then there's the hole in the middle that the fire goes through. And I've just got the uh, a rectangle of nice thick metal that I had cut from the lid of the barrel back in the day with a brick on it to keep it steady and that's holding it on either side and then I filled these with rock and and sand I don't know for better thermal mass and just so that the uh, exhaust won't leak out when I do that then out the back there's just something to catch the gases which will go down in into this T and then I need to hook it up into the greenhouse I'm still a wimp I'm sure the winter will be over by the time I actually get that connected. I'll set that as my bar. So anyway, so I haven't got it connected there yet. I've got the fiberglass and the wood to be able to do that, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Anyway, this now with uh, four cinder blocks, another couple, that all adds up to, uh, you know, maybe ten, twenty dollars as opposed to the sixty plus that it cost to use the double insulated chimney pipe. 